Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use RGB color sensor with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here is a TCS34725 RGB color sensor module which is included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. The RGB color sensor works by exposing an object with a white light, while the reflected light is directed to three color filters, red, green, and blue. Then the filtered colors is applied to its specific photodiodes, measuring its color intensity. This module has four pins, namely G and D for the ground pin, VCC for the supply voltage, SDA for the I2C serial data pin, and SCL for the I2C serial clock pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers for easy circuit connection, a 4-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires to attach the RGB color sensor to ESP32 shield and of course the RGB color sensor module itself. I already attached the DuPont jumper wires to the RGB color sensor by following the color coding which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow for the SDA, and white for the SCL pin, while the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, yellow, and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this experiment, I choose GPIO21 to serve as SDA pin and GPIO22 for the SCL pin. Now for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. To help us easily use the RGB color sensor module, we need an external driver library. Thankfully, Adaproot Industries provided us a TCS34725 driver library on GitHub. Copy the TCS34725.py from the companion blog post for this video because I made some modifications on it. Paste it to Tony IDE, which I already did here and save it to ESP32 MicroPython root directory by clicking the file menu, select save as, select MicroPython device and save it as TCS34725.py and click OK. I already have it so I will just click cancel. Now for example number one, Let's explore the basics of TCS34725 RGB color sensor. I will click the run button to execute it. Now to read a complete raw data, just call the read method with a raw string as its parameters. TCS.read with raw string as its parameters and hit enter. And it will return the value of red, green, blue, and clear channel. Or we can request only the RGB values by requesting the RGB. Just like this. Or we can have it in decimal HTML form by sending DEC for decimal. Or we can have it in hexadecimal by sending tcs.read with hex string as its parameters. Another option is to request for the color temperature and brightness by sending tcs.read with lux string as its parameters and hit enter, which returns two values corresponding the color temperature in Kelvin unit and luminosity or brightness in lux unit. 
So let me click the stop button to terminate example number one. Now for the application, let me attach this RGB LED which will replicate whatever the color the RGB color sensor detects. Okay, I attach the RGB LED to GPIO 25, GPIO 26, and GPIO 27 for the red, green, and blue LED respectively. Let me click the run button to execute example number two. Now I have here some Lego parts with different colors. And let me handle the RGB LED. And I will show you the side so that it can be detected by the camera. Now if I use the red, it should show a red color in the RGB LED. Or the yellow, I don't know if it can be seen in the RGB LED, but the color is yellow. For the green, and the blue. Let's try again the red. And the yellow. This works by importing the pin class from the machine module to access ESP32 pins. Then the I2C for creating an I2C communication bus to the TCS34725 RGB color sensor. Then the PWM from the machine module for driving the RGB LED. Sleep MS is not used. I forgot to remove this one. The TCS34725 class from the TCS34725 driver library which is used for communicating to the RGB color sensor. Then I created here another driver library for the RGB LED, which is this one, a simple library. And same as before, we create the TCS34725 object named TCS. I created also the RGB object which is connected to GPIO 25, 26, and 27. And we read a decimal value by sending tcs.read with DEC as its parameters. And the return tuple is saved to red, green, and blue, which is input for setting the RGB LED. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you can learn something from this. As always, the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!